uh, just a great effort. I want to give Idaho Hall of credit. I mean, uh, that staff came in this year in January and put together a heck of a season, run through the big sky to get into the playoffs. And then, you know, you saw what they're capable of doing. I mean, they, that's, you know, hard to go out to their university and what they're going through. And then for that team to walk into here and, and uh, play like they did tonight. We knew they were a good team. And uh, we knew we had to match the intensity. And I thought we did that. And that's why I'm so proud of this team being able to, and I've, I've spoken about it all year long. We overcome adversity. Uh, uh, when we're when we're looking at things that take place, our guys don't blink. They just go back, keep on playing. And uh, they don't point fingers. They don't complain. Uh, they don't quit. They play, man. And it's just it's just a, a pleasure to coach a group of guys like this. And, uh, you know, we got some things we got to clean up and, and uh, get better, get ready for next week. But we're moving on. And, and uh, there's going to be – that's all they got. They're going to have eight games in the country next week, and we're going to be playing in one of them. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about that. And, I'm happy for our guys. That's that's they worked so hard to get to this point. So, now with that, you can you fire away with the questions. All right, questions for the players, real quick. Steve, let's talk about this performance, man. I mean, uh, Eli wasn't able to go today, so it was it was all on you. I know you've both been playing all year, but man, I thought uh, running the ball and throwing the ball tonight really played well. Talk about your performance. Uh, I just. Tried to go out there and execute the game plan. Coach Stevens laid out for us. The O line they did a great job all game. Uh, the defense did good, giving us opportunities, giving us the ball back, and we just had to, you know, uh, execute, capitalize on the things we did out there. But uh, you know, as far as Eli, you know, when we both out there playing, you know, I, I feel very confident in that game. I feel like we a good duo out there, you know. But like you said, he wasn't able to go, but we still, you know, came out, and got the W. Now, walk us through that pick six and what you saw. I was in a, uh, a zone read that play. So the quarterback was looking at the receiver the whole time, so I was just waiting on him to throw it, and the rest is history. For you guys to capitalize off of three turnovers tonight, just how big was that to keep the momentum going? Coach mentioning to you guys not blinking and making the plays when they needed to happen. So this is what it's all about. You know, we know, we know. It's not I'm just, I'm just <laughs> excited that we won, man. You know. It's, it's all about you know winning and advancing. So I'm just glad we got the win tonight. Uh, Zai, so obviously you don't get beat too often, but on that touchdown in the fourth, uh, you gave it up, and then the next series you get the pick six. How good did that feel to just get that redemption? Yeah, when I gave it a touchdown, I was down on myself, you know. But I got teammates who lift me and told me to stay positive. And right, very next drive, they say you go catch a pick, do a catch a pick. So. See, yeah, I remember Zai from my Barry Parish, man. We different over there. Steve, let's talk about the offensive line. I mean, I thought, I mean, especially there in the third quarter, really just kind of took over the football game. Yeah, the offensive line, they played great all game. They were very physical up front. They protection was great all night. When we ran the ball, they moving bodies down the field, just doing everything that coach asked them to do and just executing, doing a great job. Steve, just how much of a luxury is it to have somebody like Gage Warren <clears throat> that you can throw to on those fourth down attempts? Oh, man, it's great having Gage. I mean, just throw it anywhere around him, and he's going to make a play for you. I mean, I know I kind of miss him on one throw, but other than that, Gage, he's all over the field. You hand it to him out the backfield, quick screens. I mean, he's just a great football player. See, was talking about that your, your your touchdown run. Man, I thought you were tackling in the backfield, and then you just kind of spun out of there. What did you see on that uh, on that run where you were able to break tackles and get down the sideline? Uh, I just, you know, read my, read my keys. Told me to pull a ball, and after that, I just tried to, you know, get what I can. Get, yeah, get what I can, and I just made a play after that. All right, we got to the players. Uh, one more. Okay. Being from uh, Mobile, and so obviously you're returning to your home state. Does that mean a little something extra to you? Oh yeah. I know it's obviously a playoff game, but yeah, uh, it's always good going back home. Obviously playing in Birmingham, I'm from Mobile, but still just being back in the state of Alabama is always good going out there and playing. Uh, I'm sure I'll be playing against a couple guys from my area, from the Mobile area, so it's always good going back home. For sure. One more for uh, both of you guys. Just talk about the guys to your left and your right and what kind of they mean to, to this game and this win. Sorry, you, I guess, Cephas. He wants you to talk about Zai. <laughs> oh, Zai, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, Zai, he's a big piece of the team, big piece of the defense. You know, uh, a lot. I don't think this year he got a lot of action. This year uh, he didn't get a lot of balls thrown his way, and I think, you know, that's a good thing. But I, you know, go mess with him. He, I mean, I ain't throwing my side, but I think that's good, though, you know, because when they did throw his side, he did make the plays. So I think it's, uh, I'm glad we got somebody on Zai. Like Zah, I'm glad he's on my team and I don't have to play against him. Now you got to talk about Cephas. Uh, <laughs> Cephas is a good quarterback, you know. 
Every time in practice, I ask him to throw my way, throw my way, because I ain't get no action. And in practice, you know, I, I'm a good cornerback because Coach Stephen, so I got all the praise and all the glory to Steve for making me a better cornerback. All right, we'll go with the players. All right, guys, you can go back to the locker room. Coach. Good job, guys. All right. Zaz, it's your birthday today? Zaz, it's your birthday today? Zaz, it's your birthday today. Hey, give me a round of applause, man. Nice birthday present. Yeah. All right, we got a few more minutes here for Coach. Gave me a present. You just a present? We good? I got one question for you, Coach. So, awesome. On that, uh, obviously rough in the passer call, uh, person, I didn't agree with it, but I mean, tough call. What was uh, the referee's explanation to you? What do you yeah, I thought it was a that? terrible call. Uh, he said he, his whole body weight came down on top of him, but I thought the play happened so fast. When he threw the ball, we were already in his face and they couldn't adjust and the ball kind of floated. I thought, I'll tell you this, I thought the crew did a good job tonight. I just thought that was a terrible call. I mean, I don't know. I can't get fined, I don't think, but I don't know. It's just a terrible call. But uh, like I said, I, I thought the crew did a nice job. Uh, uh, they controlled the game, and they, they were they were what they did really well was communicate to the sideline uh, stuff that was going on during the course of the game. Coach, on those two fourth down conversions that kept you guys in the game, what do you think about just Gage Larvidane's performance and what he's able to do for you all in those he, moments? He just always makes a play when you need it. You know, it's. Uh, like sometimes you don't even know he's out there, and then all of a sudden, in a crucial situation, he, the catch he made on fourth down, I don't even know how he got the. I mean, it's stuck. It's like it's stuck in his hand, and uh, and, and that was such a huge play, right? And uh, you know, he's just special. He's a special player. Coach, can you talk about kind of two-edged sword of special teams? Not like huh. a, a big point of this game, but that punt particularly for for Southeastern that pinned them back, kind of set y'all up for a, a big third quarter touchdown. And then on the opposite side, their kickoff return for a touchdown. Can you talk about that? Yeah, you know, that's huge. Uh, you know, we had a plan not to kick it to one. You know, we, he's good, man. Uh, he's one of the best in the country. And we didn't want to kick it to him. And they, they switched at the last minute. And we ended up kicking to him. And uh, kind of what we expected, to tell you the truth. So it's it really poor coaching. We did a poor job uh, being able to communicate. We got it the next time. They switched late and we were able to kick away from him. But, uh, you know, don't. I think it's important that you don't put yourself in a position to fail. And that's what happens a lot of times. Guys don't actually win games, you lose games by doing stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I, and I, as far as us punting, I think Austin done the last best punter in the country. I'm glad he's ours. I know he shanked that last one at the end, but uh, I mean, he's done a heck of a job, dropped it all the way down on the one yard line. It's about a 60 yard, 58 yard punt, something like that. So uh, our special teams, we gotta do a better job in kickoff coverage. But I thought the rest of the units did a good job tonight. And as far as uh, Zai Alexander's pick six, the the interception that didn't get a penalty uh, called on it. But can you talk about like what that moment was for you, or if you shared any words with him on the sideline after that? Because that obviously a crucial point in the game. Yeah, no, not really. I don't talk to him after uh, the momentum. You know, it's a big momentum change, right? It's uh, you, know, you got to remember when guys make a big play, they got to hug everybody. And, and it, it takes me all day to get to him before I get to him. And by that time, we've already kicked off and moved on to something else. But uh, Zai's from close to my hometown, so yeah, he, he, he knows how I feel about it. He's good. Was there an emphasis on the run game this week, Coach? I mean, you guys put up 241 yards on the ground. What can you say about the offensive line tonight? You know, Brooke, we, we talked about that, uh, that we had to be a physical football team to play this, this group of guys. And because uh, they're physical. Now, they're coming out of the big sky. The big sky is a physical league. Uh, and, and they're they're built for that. And I thought on both sides of the line of scrimmage, we won. We stopped the run. Our defensive line and linebackers did a heck of a job up front stopping the run and creating some long yardage situations. And that's what we had to do. We wanted to get them in third and long. And uh, we were able to do that. But then running the football, we were able to do that and keep our defense off the field. We gave up a lot of points tonight, but uh, you know at the same time, we kept the ball for a long time in certain situations. I think the big the big thing of the whole, you know, nobody said anything about they were plus ten in the turnover margin this year. And for us to pick up three right off the you know, and that was three big ones. And uh, you know, for us to be able to do that, one of them in the in the end zone, first play of the game, they had a big play, we got that one, and then pick six for a touchdown. Those are all turning points for us, right? And uh, I think that's a big thing that's a big part of the game or the biggest part of the game. All right, last question for coach. Talk about the crowd, coach. And uh Kind of the emotions towards the end of the game. And yeah, it, it, the, the crowd was awesome. I mean, they had to be drunk up there for the most part. <laughs> I would think for them to be that loud, it was awesome. 
Uh, you could hear them. They were loud. Uh, they were excited. I, I don't, it, look, Ham and America stepped up, right? <laughs> That's it. All right, one last one for you. Eli Sawyer, obviously being out just one, can you give us an update moving forward and two, the way Seep has played in this game? I mean, I think this is the first complete game he's had since week one. Right. Before Eli and him started playing together. Yeah, I think uh, Greg did a good job with the game plan this week. And, and again, because we were able to run the football as much as we were able to do, uh, I think that took a little bit of the pressure off of Cephas. And we, and we really had some good design plays that allowed him to go ahead and do some stuff uh, back there that he was real comfortable with. So uh, I'm really happy with his preparation this week. And he trusted that so that uh, as he went through the whole thing that he was going to get the results that he needed tonight. And we did. We got those.